Steve, a dramatic 2-1 win tonight against Sutton United. Your assessment of the game? Um, I think that when the teams come out, we saw that um, Sutton had maybe shown us a lot of respect and doubled up out wide and, and kind of slightly changed their shape. Uh, not picked the two really attacking wide players that they've got. So I think that kind of gave us an idea that the, the, the shape that they were going to play and the way they were going to play. Um, and I think that we got the early goal, which we needed. Um, never really capitalised on that, but had some good play, some good patient play without creating the chances that we we wanted to, really. Um, second half, I think they went up a notch, to be fair to them. Um, I think they started to win a few battles around the pitch, which we won first half, um, and got the all-important equaliser, which made the diffi you know the evening difficult for us. So to come up with a such a quality goal at the end to get the points for us was uh, a big relief. I was going to say, a late winner is always special, but that was some strike from Elliot Lee, wasn't it? As pure as it gets. You know, he's he's had a few this season that we were just having a laugh in the dressing room, me and him, that, you know, he's put a few over the bar this season from similar kind of area, but his concentration was 100% and uh, you won't see a pure strike. Squad depth has become a key feature so far this season. Tonight was just another example of how important that can be. Yeah, I mean, I think that before the, the game, the, the, the manager felt that, you know, Elliot had played every minute of every game practically and, Maybe could do a little breather. Um, looked a wee bit tired, we thought, of the, of the weekend at Bradford. So, um, hence Jordan coming in. Um, and obviously, he played his first minutes Fletch at the weekend. Um, and we just got to protect him a little bit, obviously, for obvious reasons. So, um, they were the reason for the changes. You sort of alluded to it in your first answer there, but do you think Sutton almost imposing themselves on our game, or imposing themselves onto us a little bit frustrated us in that second period? Yeah, I think so. I think the crowd got frustrated, um, which led to the lads wanting to do the best, but maybe forcing issues a little bit. And I think that, you know, the frustration of the crowd re resulted in just the lads getting a little bit anxious and a little bit forcing things with the football, which they didn't really need to do. I think we just needed to stay patient. They came with a game plan, but at some stage they would have to open up if they wanted to get back in the game. And I think that that might have been late on if we could have stayed a bit more patient, but letting him get that goal made it more difficult. Patience is key, and we've seen this so many times here at the Stoke High Rest this season, mm. it's paid off once again. Yeah, they go to the end, don't they? You know, they, they, they're a great set of lads, they work hard, um, they never know when they beat, and they go right to the very end, and I think that, you know, full credit to Sutton, they came and did a really good job on us, and I think that, you know, credit to their manager and the team, they worked really hard to try and see the game out, but just that little bit of quality did them in the end. There were two injury concerns with Owen O'Connell and Ryan Barnett going off injured, possibly yeah. too early to tell, but how are they both? Um, obviously, Owen didn't look great, did it? He you know, looks like he was had a reaction after that that long pass that he played through the middle of the pitch. Um, obviously, he'd be assessed, and I'm, I'm sure he'd be scanned tomorrow. Uh, Barney just felt his knee a little bit, so I think it's just a case seeing how that settles down tomorrow. And ultimately, three points here tonight and momentum to build on for Notts County at the weekend. Yeah, another big game, isn't it? You know, it's a game where there's a, a lot of rivalry over the what happened last year, and I'm sure there'll be a massive crowd there, good support from from our fans and. No doubt they'll fill their, fill their part of the stadium. Uh, it's just a great game to look forward to. I think the players are, you know, it's two re really evenly matched teams who are, who are going to be up against each other at the weekend. And uh, I think the, the little bit of quality will come out and, and we'll see who's got it. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations.